We're going to continue our team coverage now with 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket. He's been tracking when Pew will be brought back to Detroit. Simon. Glenda, sources say Pew could be brought back here to town within a matter of days. In the meantime, he'll stay in the custody of the U.S. Marshals. Charles Pugh did not put up a fight when a U.S. Marshals task force paid him a surprise visit earlier today at his New York home. Now charged with six counts of criminal sexual conduct involving a minor from nearly 13 years ago, he faces up to life in prison. It'll be the U.S. Marshals who supervise his return to Detroit after his extradition hearing today before a judge. From what I know, he doesn't have an extensive criminal record of any kind. Former FBI Assistant Director Dan Roberts once led the FBI's own fugitive apprehension program. The veteran law enforcement executive says it won't take long for extradition and Pew will most likely be confined to the area, but potentially not to a cell if he can post bond. There are two things that the court has to evaluate when they're going to address bond for Mr. Pew or, or really anybody that comes before the court. One is whether he's demonstrated violence in his history, a propensity for violence, whether he's going to harm anyone, including himself or others, or two, whether, the, whether he would be a flight risk. Pew's alleged sexual assault of a then 14-year-old boy occurring while he worked as a Detroit TV anchor. Now, after yet another scandal, he'll be forced to return here to defend against those new charges. He's been living in New York, uh, I understand, openly for quite some time now, and he could have gotten on a flight and left the country already. So that, that kind of demonstrates that he's probably not a flight risk. You might be wondering why it's taken so long to charge. Pew prosecutors say it's the result of relatively new information that came to light. Live downtown, Simon Shaket, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Simon. Seven investigators are all over this story, and we will continue to bring you the very latest coverage. Here's Jonathan Carlson. Good afternoon. The seven investigators here at Metro Airport were about to board a flight to New York City where we're hoping to meet up with Charles Pugh. That will all depend on how his case goes through the court system there. I'm told by sources that he has been brought from the 5th Precinct to Manhattan Criminal Court where he's scheduled to have an extradition hearing sometime this afternoon. That could then determine whether or not he comes back here when or whether or not he fights that extradition. Sources here in Detroit and law enforcement tell me that they have not yet received word as to what the outcome outcome of that hearing may be or when he may be brought back to Detroit. As we get more information on the ground there in New York, we will, of course, check back with you. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. See you when you arrive. Thank you, Jonathan.